Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen table where I have just done my first hybrid Bible journaling page. And I'm super excited, I always love firsts. Hybrid is basically combining two different methods of doing something. And in this case, it is digital and traditional. Uh, for Bible journaling and the digital is this really cute little image that I got off of Tara D's doodling through the Bible uh, blog and um, she's creating them just for us to use uh, in a variety of ways. I could take this girl and put her in a digital Bible journaling page but um, I instead decided I needed to try to do um, some hybrid things uh, to help those people that are using these uh, journaling Bibles, but um, are timid like me. You see, I can't draw very well. You can see my uh, arrow pointing to the Bible verse. It's not very good. I got little arrows going down. That's about the extent. <laughs> of my hand art um, but I you know I've always been excited seeing what everybody else is doing and so I think this is a great 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 way to combine uh, both of the hobbies so that those wanting to do this can um, can but don't feel as gifted in drawing can do it so I ran out earlier this week and I got the journaling Bible. It's the one with the columns down the side. Now you can Google and search on YouTube and find tons of videos and resources on um, regular uh, journaling Bible. Uh, but um, I've, I've done the digital journaling Bible for a year now. Um, year now on Monday. I'm excited to have a anniversary to celebrate. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to celebrate it. And um, I immediately went out and got stuff. <laughs> okay, some of this stuff came from my basement because I my first thought was to add and I printed out my uh, digital uh, Bible journaling pages and I my first thought was to add them to this. I want to add them. So um, I, I've begun doing that. I don't have them all printed out yet. Um, I have 40 something of them. Let me find one. Um, here's one that I've stuck in here and I've just underlined in the Bible. So I actually have um, my Bible study notes that I put in my digital Bible journaling in my Bible. Now the reason I, another reason I've not wanted to do this is because I'm very digital and I use uh, my Bible on my iPad and my OneNotes for my uh, study notes. Um, and I'm very happy with it that way. Uh, but um, wanting to uh, teach others how to use these products has caused me to go out and buy this. Um, so I am going for it, but the big reason why I don't use this is see, read these things, they're all over my house. I cannot see this Bible very well, the print. And in fact, printing these out so small, I can't see them all that well either. I can if I work real hard at it. Um, but I'll continue to um, use this and try to... Um, use it to get into uh, God's Word because that's what it's all about. We don't want this stuff to be about um, our artwork, even though God gives us the gift of the artwork, but the artwork that He has gifted us with is being used for His purposes. Uh, and it, in this case, it's being used personally to help us get into His Word but it's also uh, being shared online and um, it's causing other people to go, oh, that's so cool, I wanna do it, and then they're getting into the Word. So it's not about our artwork, it's all about God and our time spent with God, and I spend a lot of time on all, all of these. Um, I did not spend as much time on this, uh, but um, this verse here, if I take my readers and put them on, is when I 
thought my foot slips, your steadfast love, O oh Lord, held me up. And so, um, and this is the the message version. The minute I said, I'm slipping, I'm falling, your love God took hold and held me fast. And it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. But um, as always, it's about God. And so here are my thoughts. Um, when I fall down, God picks me up. There's a song that uh, it, 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 uh, I can't think of the country artist name. There's a song I like that I've always liked about, um, uh, falling down and you pick yourself up, dust yourself off and start all over again. And that, that was in my head. But whenever I hear that song, I'm always translating it to God picks me up because I may actually physically pick myself up on the ground, but I can't do it without God's strength. And so I put that in here because that, that's what this makes me think of. God dusts me off and God helps me start all over again. Thanks God. I put the arrow to the thanks God. And um, I put whoops, because what this verse is really about is, you know, first I think it's about me, um, you know, and things aren't about me, but first I think it's all about me when I get down and out and I'm sad that God will pick me up and, and he does. But I really think this verse is more about, whoops, I did some sin, bad me, I've fallen down from God's grace, but he immediately picks me back up and forgives me. And um, that is really, to me, what this verse is about. So it's more about God and him forgiving my sins because I believe in him than it is about me being down and depressed. But it's applicable to both. Hey. Um, so anyway, I wanted to uh, film this. What I did was I took uh, this stuff that I bought. You can see it's was $15.99, so expensive, but I, I think it's going to go a long way. They recommend, and the, the things I read online, not me, using this matte medium um, because the glossy stuff doesn't work very well. And um, uh, so what I did was to just use a brush. I don't remember which one I used. I, and I don't think it really matters. I think I used this one. And I just brushed my whole page with it and then I let it dry. But before that, I took this um, piece of wax paper and it's hard to record and do this at the same time one-handed. And I took this and I stuck it under here. Um, now they're beginning to make in the Bible journaling world. Um, uh, they've made a plastic one, which is so cool. Um, um, and I really like it and I may have to get it someday. But um, for now, the, anything I think that you can stick under here, I just got the wax paper because it was nice and thin. But the purpose of this is so that when you are brushing or uh, coloring, that uh, it won't go through to this page over here, or you might not, you know, go through to the edges over here. So just stick something under there. And then I just lightly coated it with this stuff. And I let it dry. And then um, after it was dried, I actually used the same stuff I'm going to show you how I created this digitally, and I printed it off, and I'll show you how I printed it, and um, then just uh, put this stuff on the back of the printed piece of paper, and I pushed it down, and I didn't even have to wait for it to start drawing. I got these um, colored, what are they called? <laughs> they, they're called watermark watercolor pencils because I read in the regular world that these work well not this brand they're recommending the more expensive brands but I was totally out of money after buying this so I got this and I actually tried playing and um, did not do too well with it I saw some tutorials where they you draw with this and um, then you get you know a thin 
well, this one isn't thin. Here's a thin one. A thin paintbrush. Um, they actually have special paintbrushes. And, you know, you, you go on what you just drew with some water and um, work with it. Well, that didn't work for me very well. It could be because I had the less expensive pencils. But uh, I found this time what actually worked was for me just to take my pencil, where is it, <laughs> and dip it in just a tiny bit of water, just like this, and then to put it down and just begin drawing like that. And it worked. I was so excited that that worked. Now I found these little markers um, in uh, my stash from ages ago. And that's what I use here to underline those verses. And um, they're highlighters is what they are. And I have no idea what brand they are, but they work well. The key is you don't want to use anything that's going to bleed. And to bleed would be to mess up the other side so that you can't read the other side. Yes, yeah, some of it's going to show through a little bit. That kind of bled through a little bit. And that's the whole purpose of using this stuff is so that it doesn't bleed through the, to the other side so that you can still put something on the other side. Um, if you use markers that bleed, um, that will certainly happen. And actually, I kind of like having this piece of paper taped in here. You can see it because it, it helps to keep that, uh, not taped, but glued down, it helps to keep this side from being bled through. I actually kind of like that. Anyway, um, I got this other stuff. I've been just using plain washi tape to tape down um, these. I've got several in here. I don't know. There's another one. It must be this way. Ah, I can't find one. They are in there. There's about five of them in there. But I just used washi tape to do that. And I got this other stuff down because I was thinking maybe tacky glue or this special uh, scrapbooking glue stick for photos or um, this stuff that I use to decoupage onto um, those uh, chipboard. When I made a chipboard book, um, this works really well. Uh, but they say that this... Um, matte finish works best and I can only see it this might be uh, shiny and um, but I was thinking about putting them down with that but I probably I'm just and you can also use gesso uh, which um, I'm going to keep this out and play with it and I thought about putting them in with mounting squares I doubt that I'm going to do that because the washi tape I, I like being able to um, lift them up and still see the text underneath. So um, I'm probably going to put a lot of this stuff away, except for maybe a few brushes. Um, and oh, I bought some vellum. I had to buy the, actually Hubby bought it on a run into the store for me, a honeydew. And they were out of the eight and a half by 11, but we got the big size and I'm going to cut that in half. And I plan on printing on that and trying to put things in here. And I'll do another video when I get that done to show you how that works. So, um, okay, let's head on off to uh, the uh, printing part. So you can see how we uh, print this. And so we, here we are in Photoshop Elements. And of course, I normally work in the full version of Photoshop, but for tutorial purposes so that everybody can uh, do um, this tutorial, I'm working in Photoshop Elements. I think this is 11, works in any version. Um, I measured, of course, my Bible journaling Bible and that's going to be key when you're creating your little margin strips uh, for uh, pasting into your Bible and um, I'm going to be making uh, mine in about six and a half by a little bit less than two uh, because um, I think it's six and three quarter mine were and uh, the smaller um, 
journaling Bibles were also six and a half. So if I make something to share, they'll it'll most likely fit in everybody's journaling Bible. Now, if you have a totally different Bible, you're going to need to um, uh, measure your Bible and create in the size that works for your Bible. And so we're going to do file, uh, new, and a blank file. And I'm going to uh, make sure I'm at 300 resolution because that works best for printing. And um, then I'm going to leave my name on my document untitled till I save it. I never play with that from here. And uh, then I want to make sure I choose uh, well, yeah, inches is right. Um, you may be in pixels if you're uh, creating um, something else. Uh, but then um, for my width, I did 1.85 because my strip is 2 inches and I didn't want to go quite all the way to the edge. And my height is 6.5. Um, and then I'm going to click OK. And now this is the size I've got going for my uh, background. I'm going to go ahead and dock this up here. Um, and so this will fit in my margin. This would be the size of my margin strips. Now I can create something the entire length, or I can create something that's more just like a sticker that you would uh, put in there. And um, so um, here is Tara's cute little doodle off of her website, the uh, journaling or the uh, Bible doodling. Now I can't even remember it. I feel bad. Tara D. Uh, doodle through the Bible. That's it. And, um, and so you can just drag that in here and then uh, resize. Whoops. Let's see. Every version of Photoshop works different. Some need the shift key and some don't. Um, so you can just resize this down. I'm going to zoom in and, uh, you know, position it. And if this is all you wanted to do in order to create um, something, a sticker for the side of your Bible, you could just leave it right there. But I'm going to open up the one I created. Um, let's open that up in here. And uh, this is the one I created. And you can see I went ahead and added some text because I, I wanted the Bible verse in there that Tara had used for this one because it was so good. It was just so good. And um, then uh, I, I went ahead and added thanks God. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up doing more of the typewritten in there because I have the worst handwriting. <laughs> So I probably am going to add more of my text. Now you can use, you know, I love the doodle because that allowed me to color in um, on my uh, journaling Bible. Um, but I could use any digital scrapbooking elements. And if I wanted this background to be color, I could do that too. You can do whatever you want on these. I'm just kind of showing you how to create uh it, for those that already have digital scrapbooking skills, um, you know, basics, uh, something basic for printing, for putting into uh, your margin in your Bibles. And so I'm probably going to share this one um, for download. I think Tara won't mind. But um, then you the key which I found this is the key is how you save it so you do save as and um, oh it's about organizer you must first la launch the organizer does that show how much how often I've used Photoshop elements well actually my computer just crashed so um, it's only been recently installed on here. So um, the key is here you, is the key and you know what? There it is. Photoshop PDF is to choose. I was afraid it wasn't in here. Is to choose PDF because I printed it. I saved it as a JPEG and I tried printing, printing it and I'm in Windows 10 right now and it enlarged 
the image no matter what I did. I was so frustrated. I tried different things. Um, it just tried to take that small thing and make it fit into my big page. And so if you use this Photoshop PDF and then um, that you can save it with the layers, but I, I actually took the layers off uh, and um, click save that way because uh, I think without layers the file might be smaller. That's the only reason I did that. Um, but save it as a PDF and then when you go to print it, see here's my PDF if I open it up you can see um, in a minute it's in that not responding mode I've got too many things open there it goes so you can see it here and um, I chose through here to uh, print let's hope it prints I may need to close something out there it goes um, and your dialog box when you're printing from PDF um, to your printer actually always comes up the same no matter what kind of printer you have. So that's cool. So when I show this to you, you can um, use and see the same things I do. Of course, this is for Windows users. I'm sure Mac is going to print just as well as long as you save to PDF. And I chose actual size. And you can see here that um, it is the actual size in the middle of my 8.5 by 11 page. And I just printed on regular paper. Um, let's save money. You know, this is about um, being in God's Word and, and not about spending a lot of money. That's what's so great about being able to do your own little stickers for um, the uh, Bible journaling margins. And so, um, but if you want, uh, you can custom scale it down if you think you're going to be putting it in something smaller at 90 or 85 percent or something like that. But um, I like being, oops, I like being able to um, make it to scale in Photoshop Elements and then saving it and just printing it to its actual size. So I'm not going to print it again, but um, rather I think that's it. That's all you need to know is how to, to the, the key is save to PDF. Create by the size you need when you create your new document like we did here and add whatever you want to it and save it to PDF and um, print from there and then use my uh, suggestions at the beginning of the video. Okay, have fun. I look forward to seeing what you all do with this and be sure to stay in the Word.